everybody, it's Cobbs. How y'all doing? Today, I'm going to make a little short video on how to keep these guys from stinking up your house. You know, when you put them in the fridge and stuff, how they stink up other food too, you know? I have a solution that will stop these guys from stinking up your fridge. And it works great. And, uh, well, if you haven't subscribed to my station, go ahead and subscribe right down there. Uh, if you like the videos, go ahead and make sure you give me a thumbs up and leave a comment if you like and say in a comment any other videos you'd like to see me do. I like doing reviews on things too and checking out for Bigfoot research and, uh, and all kinds of different things. Just check out my videos, subscribe down there, come back later and check them out and uh, maybe there's some videos on there you'll like. Anyhow, let's get on with the video today about how to make these puppies so they don't stink up your whole fridge or your RV trailer or RV while you're in it. I mean, when you go to cut these things up, you stink up the whole place, you know? It's like, whoa, onions. Yeah, they can be pretty powerful when you're in the RV trailer. But I have a solution to keep them from stinking while they're in the fridge. We're going to cut these up. And I'm going to show you what I do with my onions to keep them from stinking up the fridge and making all the other food smell like onion in the fridge. So, let's get that knife out and let's cut these puppies out. I'm still testing that knife and when I get done testing this knife, I will give a review on this knife. It's a nice little knife and it's cheap. It doesn't cost that much either, but I will give a full review on it. But today, we're going to cut up an onion, a couple of onions with it and see how it does cutting onions. Okay, let's get right on that and do it. Spin on cooking with cobs. We're not really not cooking anything today. We're just going to show you how to cut this onion up, put it in the fridge and keep it from stinking up the whole fridge and everything in the fridge. Well, little earthquake there. That was me sticking my big hand here. But anyhow, I think I'll leave that in there. That's kind of... Get a little drink of uh, my mocha again. Well, I have one cup a day. That's it. Okay, so uh, I'm gonna readjust the camera over here so we can see what I'm doing. Trailer. 
later, but not right now. I'd stain this one for six years. Maybe seven. Anyhow, when I get full retirement, I will get a different trailer. With the island in it, so I have more room to cook and stuff. Anyhow, so I rinsed off the onion, because the outside of the onion, you know, is kind of like any contamination or anything would be on the outside of the onion. I'm going to rinse off the knife. Because I don't want to get contaminated. And I rinsed off the cutting board. Well, sort of. Let's do that again. Try not to shake the camera when I do this. Because actually the camera's on top of the sink. I have a large meat cutting thing and I put it over top of the sink and I put the camera on the tripod and it's shooting over my shoulder. This is really a small little area right here, but it looks good on camera. Alright, let's slice that up. So we're going to just going to slice it up. People can do all kinds of things. Also, when you're cutting onions, always roll your fingernails like this, and then when you cut down, you'll hit your fingernails. That was a little slip there. Get the lost finger, and hopefully you'll hit your fingernails instead of, see how I got my fingernails? I think you can see that on the camera. Got all my nails turned that way toward the blade. Uh, I'm not too impressed with this knife. It's kind of hard to cut out anyway. I'll lay the onion on its side and cut it like this. It doesn't really matter how to cut the onion because I usually cut them up in little pieces. I'm kind of slicing it, but I really don't use them that way. So, let's cut it this way. I know when I first got this knife, it had burrs on it, on the blade, and it didn't quite cut as good as I thought it should. I had to sharpen it a little bit. Seems like it still has some burrs on the blade. I think once all the burrs are off the blade, it should sharp. It should cut pretty good. It's really a stiff knife. But anyhow, we're not doing a review on the knife right now. I'm talking about it a little bit. So we will do a review, and we'll cut this onion all the way up like this, because. I sprinkled it on stuff. In fact, that reminds me of something. I'm getting ready to have some steak today. I'll marinate in it. But why I marinate the steak with the stuff I got it on there, I think I'll throw some onions on top of there because that just helps it out a little bit more. So hold on a second, I'm gonna get that out. old steak we got here. Big one. Anyhow, I'm going to throw some onions in there on top of it. I will show later how I do that. I'll throw some of these onions in here. Alright, we got the onions in there. Let them soak up some stuff. Oh yeah, Lucy would like to have that. She's waiting right there. Hoping Open, I drop that thing on the floor and she would eat it, right Luz? Alright, so, wash your hands off, I just messed with the steak. Accident getting out on my hands, but I'll rinse them off anyhow. Alright, back to the onion. What we're here for. How to make this so it doesn't sink up your fridge. Alright, I got those cut up in pretty good chunks. Yeah. Boy, this is a pretty powerful onion too. Too bad you can't smell it like I do. <laughs> this is like a really powerful onion. And what we're gonna do here, is put all the onion. Uh, this is one reason why I like these kind of. But you gotta hang on to them because they're like spring loaded. You let this sucker go and you got some flying everywhere. I did that once before. I had onion everywhere in the house. So, 
We got the onion in this Rubbermaid thing. Now this is a screw on lid kind, okay? Now you can take and put this in the fridge, just like this. But I guarantee you, Oh, earthquake again. I gotta quit putting my elbow on that thing. I guarantee you, you put this in the fridge, what's gonna happen is, it's gonna stink up your fridge, and it's gonna stink up everything else up with onion. So, there's one more step we need to do to take care of this. And you know what we're gonna do? Plastic bag it. Put it in the fridge. But you know what? That's not gonna work either. The smell's still gonna come through there. So here is the trick to keep the onions from stinking, smelling in the fridge. And I guarantee you, it works great. There's nothing I found that this works so good. Okay, you ready for it? I got it right here. Look what it is for breeze. That's right. I'm not doing an advertisement for them or anything, but you take the Febreze, you got your plastic bag, okay? And you just go like this. Two pumps, that's all you need, two pumps. You put this inside there like this. You Ziploc tight that up. And I guarantee you, you will not have any onion smell in your fridge no more. Guess what? Your family, your roommates, will love you. Because when they open up the fridge door, they will not smell onion no more. This works. This works really, really good. I guarantee you, you will not smell any onion at all. So this is how you stop the onion smell in the fridge, okay? This is Kavi Badger out until next time thanks for watching my videos don't forget to subscribe to my videos come back and check them out hit the bell if you want to be notified when they come give me a thumbs up if you like them and just check them out I got all kinds of different videos just come back and check them out that's all and God bless thanks for watching this is copy out the next time I have more videos coming just keep coming back and checking them out okay Catch you guys all later. God bless.